Hey, hey, we're going to continue solving for density. This problem is in the middle of page 16 in your notebook. I still have the formula here listed for you, but it's at the top of your page. So D e equals M over V is the formula to solve for density. The capital D stands for density. The units are grams per milliliter or grams per centimeter cubed. The lowercase m stands for mass. It is usually measured in grams. And the V stands for volume, and it is measured in milliliters or centimeters cubed. This problem has a little bit of a twist to it because there is a secondary step before you can actually plug into the formula. The question asks, a coin has a mass of 18 grams. It is placed into a graduated cylinder. The water level rises from 20 milliliters to 22 milliliters. What is the density of the coin? I'm going to start this problem just like the first problem. I'm going to list the variables that I'm looking for in a column. So these letters that represent these particular uh, measurements are called variables. I'm going to go back to the problem and see what they gave me. The coin has a mass of 18 grams. So I'm going to write 18 here. Here's a coin. It is placed into a graduated cylinder. So, just in case we're not sure, here is what a graduated cylinder looks like. It is used for measuring volume. Um, and this coin is placed into a graduated cylinder. The water level in this cylinder rises from 20 to 22 milliliters. So that means that Originally, there was water in this graduated cylinder up to the 20 milliliter line. The coin is placed into this graduated cylinder, and because this has a volume, this coin, the water level rose up. Since I want the density of the coin, I need to subtract the differences in these volumes, because I want the volume of the coin. I'm going to take the 22 milliliters, because that's the final volume, when you had the coin inside the graduated cylinder. And I'm going to subtract the original volume of just the water, so before the coin was added. I'm going to subtract these two numbers and get 2 milliliters. So this is an additional step. I do do it right in my list of variables and then sometimes I circle the actual number because there's multiple numbers there. If we continue reading the question it says what is the density so I'm looking for density so just like we did earlier I'm just gonna put a question mark there. Now I'm gonna continue just like we did earlier I'm gonna list the formula D equals M over V I'm looking for density my formula is set up to solve for density, therefore I don't need to rearrange this. I'm going to just write an equal sign, and then in place of the M, I'm going to go find the number for that, 18 grams. And in place of the V, I'm going to use the 2 milliliters, because that is the volume of the coin. This is a division, and I have 2 into 18, or 18 divided by 2, that is 9. And then the units are grams per milliliter. And that is that. So the density of this coin, based on this problem, is 9 grams per milliliter.